ideas this is raji in the previous videos we were learning about one of the important applications of electrolysis that is electroplating how to electroplate an article with nickel and silver and what are the conditions required for that process and the important board questions also we had discussed now we are going to learn another important application of electrolysis that is electro refining yeah what is electro refining how to carry out this process and finally we will do some board questions also now see this picture this is an ore of copper chalcopyrite cufes2 after performing different metallurgical processes finally you will be getting copper from chalcopyrite but the copper you are obtaining will not be pure it might be containing impurities so in order to get yeah 99.99 percentage pure copper you will have to yeah further purify it okay yeah. there are different methods of refining for different metals it depends upon the melting point boiling point so many other factors also but if you are going for electrolytic method for refining that process is known as electro refining got it yeah so what is electro refining the process of purification of a metal by electrolytic method is called electro refining if you have an impure copper how can you get pure copper out of it and what are the experimental arrangement required for that and how this process should be carried out everything we are going to see first of all we will take this impure metal and it will be connected to the positive terminal of a battery so remember if it is connected to the positive terminal of a battery this impure metal will become the anode okay a thin strip of pure metal should be connected to the negative terminal of a battery as a result of that this will become the cathode if you are performing the electro refining of copper the same ion should be present in the solution also so you will have to take a salt solution of copper which one is coming to your mind definitely we will be taking copper sulfate solution okay now the next step is to predict what will be the reaction taking place at the cathode and what will be the reaction taking place at the anode for that the same method we will follow which method yeah we will write all the ions present in the solution as it is copper sulfate solution it will be containing cu2 plus ion and so4 2 minus ion as it is aqueous solution it will be containing h plus ion and oh minus ion also how to predict the product of the reaction yeah here 2 2 ion are present so we had already discussed about that yeah at a time only one ion will be getting a chance to get discharged which ion will be getting a chance it depends upon so many factors one factor is yeah the relative position of ions in the electrochemical series where is the position of co2 plus yeah it is below but h plus is above so which one will be getting a chance to get discharged yeah definitely co2 plus ion will be getting a chance to get discharged at the cathode so what will be the reaction taking place at the cathode co2 plus ion from the solution will be slowly moving towards the cathode as it is connected to the negative terminal of a battery the cathode will be having net negative charge it will be having plenty of electrons so at the cathode what will happen the cu2 plus ions will accept this electron and will be getting converted into copper metal or you can say that at the cathode copper metal will be getting deposited correct what will be the reaction taking place at the anode yeah. the negatively charged ions that is so4 2 minus ion and oh minus ion will be moving towards the anode but it is of no use both of them won't be getting a chance to get discharged what is the reason this time we have connected an active metal electrode like copper metal to the positive terminal of a battery so compared to so4 2 minus ion and oh minus ion this active metal will be having more tendency to give away electron yeah metals are always electron donors right as, as a result what this copper metal will do it will give away yeah two electrons and it will come to the solution as cu2 plus ions got it no yeah so write the reaction taking place at the anode 
yeah copper will give away to electron and will be coming into the solution as cu2 plus ion so when time passes what you can observe yeah a copper metal will be getting deposited at the cathode but at the same time the impure copper rod will be getting diminished in size got it the impurities which are associated with the copper metal will be depositing at the bottom of the anode and we call it as anode mud okay and after learning everything a confusion is coming to mind okay during electro refining yeah the pure metal or the impure metal should be connected to the positive or negative terminal of a battery if such kind of a confusion is coming in mind you can think about this anode mud anode mud will be always found just below the impure metal so the impure metal should be always kept as anode and that should be connected to the positive terminal of a battery got it now see some questions related to the electro refining of copper it's going to be so easy for you read and find out name the following a solution of this compound is used as the electrolyte when copper is purified yeah what is the electrolyte the electrolyte should be a salt solution of the metal ion we are purifying so it should be copper sulfate solution okay it's so easy now see the next one what is the material for cathode and anode during the electro refining of impure copper so immediately what should come to mind you should remember anode mud is the impurities which are associated with impure copper so impure copper should be connected to the positive terminal of a battery or it should be the anode at the cathode yeah deposition of the metal will be taking place so a thin strip of pure metal should be kept as a cathode ec now see this question what will you observe at the cathode and at the anode and in the electrolyte during the electro refining of copper write the electrode reaction taking place at the cathode and at the anode whenever you are getting this kind of a question we will draw an electrolytic cell for the electro refining of copper so we will keep a thin strip of copper metal and which will be kept as a cathode it will be connected to the negative terminal of a battery and we said that impure metal should be connected to the positive terminal of a battery and that should be kept as the anode and the electrolyte will be copper sulfate solution okay first you write the cathode and anode reaction so that it will be easy for us to explain at the cathode what will be uh, taking place yeah so we will have to write okay cu2 plus ion will be present and a h plus ion also will be present so compared to these two cu2 plus ion will be getting more chance to get discharged okay because it occupies a lower position in the electrochemical series so it will be accepting two electron and uh, it will be getting converted into copper metal so copper metal will be deposited at the cathode you can write and at the anode what will happen yeah oh minus also so4 2 minus also will be present in the solution but both of them will not be getting a chance to get discharged what is the reason because copper metal is an active metal electrode the tendency to give away electron will be more for copper compared to these anions so what will be the reaction taking place at the anode copper will be giving away to electron and coming into the solution as cu2 plus ion so when time passes what will be the observation at the cathode yeah the cathode will become yeah bigger in mass or it will be it will become thicker and thicker you can write and what will happen to the anode anode will be diminished in size yeah loss of mass will be taken place at the anode and gain of mass will be taken place at the cathode and what will happen to the electrolytic solution yeah see whenever one cu2 plus ion is getting deposited at the cathode yeah another cu2 plus ion will be coming into the solution from the anode so what will be the color of copper sulfate solution it remains blue only or you can say that blue color of copper sulfate solution will be retained we have discussed a very small topic but you have answered these many questions thanks for watching see you in